Hi everybody, it's Melissa. Uh, coming back to show you some more of my fall planners, or actually just one of the actual fall planners, which will be this one that I will be moving into in November. Um, my last video showed you what I have set up for um, what I use all through September and what I'm gonna to continue to use through October. And this is my little setup for November. I haven't decided if I would continue to use it for December because I have another, of course it's BDS, and I have another uh, BDS custom coming in a couple of weeks that is a brand new leather for them. It is a gorgeous new buck leather. Super soft, super luxurious. Um, and I ordered one of those because it's just gorgeous. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, it should be here in a couple of weeks. So I may, because of the fact it's sage green, so I may use it for December. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. But this was my newest one. I got this one last week. Um, I can't say the name. <laughs> the leather is it's dark gray. It's tan leather. So that, you know, I've got one other. I've got a, a B6 in this as well. This is Franklin Covey Compact Size because that's been my, you know, my main gem throughout the entire year so far. Um, I just love it. It's just perfect. I thought a personal Y would be my personal size. Personal is definitely too small. I do have personal planners set up, you know, just for, you know, giggles <laughs> because I like to play in planners. Uh, but as far as actual everyday usage, I have found this past year that I love this. So this makes number three of uh, the VDS that I have in Franklin Cubby Compact. I have the Vinco, which is that beautiful, absolutely stunning, light color lilac. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And then I have one in the, I think they call it Hortensia. It's a very beautiful pink. And it has um, what they call lavender, which to me doesn't look lavender. Anyway, that's on the inside. And now this is number three. And this includes something I've never purchased from them, too. You're about to see, because I've always been scared to. I love the TM leathers because they're indestructible. They are so amazing. You can spill stuff on them, drop them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The leather's tough. It's going to hold up if you get stuff on it. Usually all you have to do is take a, a, a baby wipe or something and just, and it's gone. Perfect for those of us who have uh, gravity issues. Extremely clumsy. You know, we have gravity attacks all the time. Okay. So anyway, I put my, this I had ordered especially for my Vinca. But it, this purple actually goes great for fall too. And it works great with this gray color. Now, on the inside is what I did different. Normally, I do contrasting colors. Sometimes, if I love the color so much, I'll just leave it the one. This one is a contrasting color, but it is the Janet leather. It's beautiful. It feels amazing. But Janet leathers are known to be extremely sensitive. So, some more so than others, depending upon the color. Um... But I was just scared to death. And the thing about it is right now, they have got some of the most gorgeous Janet leathers. I mean, just beautiful ones. And I, I wanted to try it, but I definitely didn't want to put it on the, the outside just yet to see how bad I messed things up, <laughs> what it would end up looking like. And some people love that. They love that, um, you know, worn in, been used forever look. I don't. I don't like that. Okay, guys, behave. Now my kitten is, oh, this is such a struggle bus. I'm going to have to start recording videos in my car away from the animals. Okay, anyway, my zoo. Anyway, this is for fall, so this will be November. Definitely a November setup. I do have a December in here too, but I haven't really started decorating for December. I'll be making toward the end of November, I'll be making dashboards and stuff for Christmas and all that fun stuff. But I have my leaf that I got from Etsy um, last year, I think is when I got it. I just love the rich brown. I love that. 
And then this is Forever Old. It came out of a, a Planners Anonymous box that I bought from Michaels years ago. Years and years and years ago. And then I tried to put all matching all clips in this. So the grays and deep topes and stuff like that. But this one I just had to put in it because it just contrasts so pretty with those little sunflowers. Those aren't sunflowers. Those are daisies. I don't care. It's just the white against the dark color. Love the contrast. And something I've done with my last two, that's three planners. I thought I was nuts. But I found out I'm not nuts because there's other YouTubers that agree with me. The Krause rings, which are the Cadillac or Porsche or Lamborghini of, of rings because they're so good. I normally always get in gold, which, you know, is like $33 additional just to get it in gold. But I kept having issues with some of them actually gapping. And it, they're not supposed to do that. And I never had because I had had several BDS planners previously as well as Aura Estelle that used Krauss rings, but they used the, I used the silver ones and I never had an issue with them. So I'm like, they actually even feel stronger. I don't know why, but I have never had problems with them gapping like I have with the gold ones. So I think they're just a little bit stronger for some reason. So like I said, the past three planners I've ordered, I've just stuck with the silver rings. I don't like the look as much. It goes fine with this, it's gray, it's perfect. But I just did it anyway because I'm like, I'd rather have silver that doesn't gap than gold that does. You know what I mean? Because that's another thing that I'm like, ugh, I hate. Okay, so here is my May Paper Cold page lifter. Fall fun. This I got from, where did I get this from? You guys, Pat Cat Espresso, probably. Because I love her little twinkly stuff. Have little sticky notes in there. And then this is like a daily task card I have in there. And then just cloth and paper stuff. This, of course, has been in there. 2023. This is another one of the dashboards I did. Again, this matches this, and I did that on purpose. <laughs> but doesn't it? I mean, you know what? I think because it does match it so well. I always slit stuff. Like, well, I thought I always did. Look at me telling you got stories. Normally, I always slit the, the holes so that I can just pull them out and not de-stress my rings anymore than I already do by packing them full. I have been trying to come up with remedies. Okay, so we'll put the fall fun right here. Snapper back. And this has these of acetate. Well, not acetate, but it's a divider, but it's made out of what feels like acetate and it's you hear that on this side this side's glass i got these from nancy can't remember the shop but they come pre-done and everything and you get to pick i'm not a huge fan of the font but i live with it they weren't that expensive and you, if you know anything about dividers they are okay made her love this i love red-headed girls in the fall they just look so great i've always loved red hair anyway always wish i could have this hair exactly but now I got doo-doo brown hair. Now I've got doo-doo brown hair with some streaks of gray. A little bit of blonde in there, but mainly streaks of gray. So she's beautiful. Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. That's a Happy Planner sticker. I just stuck on, on that after I made it. And for the last two months, I'm going to use the actual Franklin Covey Compact Monthlies. I purchased those last year, and then I ended up using make, uh, Paper Co. all year long. So I decided to, you know, okay, let's use a couple of these. Because I've been, you know, past two months I've been using, uh, well, last month and this month, I have been using my um, personal white in there with cloth and paper. So I just, I love trying different inserts. So anyway, that's for my month of November. I haven't got it decked out too terribly much. Because I wanted to leave room to actually write my agenda on. But the one thing I do like is they have these master task lists and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. And I pulled out some, not only some of my new sticker books, but some of my forever old sticker books that I still had stuff left in. 
to throw some little decorating in there. This, I uh, think, again, Catspresso. It's just a little pocket. Put things in. Um, acetate. Catspresso. Vellum. I, I get very thick vellum. I get the thickest that Amazon has to make this stuff. For my weekly. Another fall girl. Hello, Alton. And I love this one. I'm like, oh. Because when I printed the vellum, I just printed this. I put this on it and that was it. So that I could put these stickers on there. And how pretty did that turn out? So pretty. Happy Thanksgiving. And I've already, yes, I've already pre-decorated everything. I'm just, I'm an idiot like that. So, but I love decorating for fall. That's the main reason. I mean, I love spring flowers and stuff like that too, but I do not decorate as much through um, the first part of the year as I do for Halloween and fall and Christmas. And then I go ham. Then I go nuts. And all these stickers, I think most of all of them came out of sticker books from, um, happy planner that I've had that one's pretty I love the little taupey tones in this one Black Friday of course now they start Black Friday in October and then this one I know it had to come out of one of my um, paper books for Michaels but I'm not sure how long I've even had that. it was just in my stash I'm finding and the thing about my stash is it's stashed everywhere in the house. So the more I look, the more I find stuff. And I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. I know I've got a ghosty woesy missing. I got a big translucent ghost that I punched and put in last year. Can't find him. And see, even into December. And these are made paper co, by the way. I still got her decorated. Huh? <laughs> Ah, and then another vellum I made. Uh, shopping list. This helps me remember who we're shopping by. This one I love. I just made her the other night. Isn't it pretty? I haven't even cornered it. I always put round corners on them. I haven't even done that yet. But yeah, this is for today. So, vellum. This is my daily routine list. And then here's the ones that I made for this one. I only have like four in there. I made this actually um, in August. I just loved, I found this print and I just loved it. So there she went. Things to do. I, these are Franklin Covey compacts that you can get from Handy Forms on Amazon. They're fantastic. And then inbox, I'm almost over there, so we're closing it off. This inbox thingy I made another beautiful fall girl and then i made these little note pages i still love my boho style when i don't have the seasonal decor in it more than like it's all boho these days i just fell in love with the aesthetic pretty 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 and this medical just made this one the other night i want to make sure i don't reveal any actual medical information Another pretty vellum I did. Okay, so let's just, again, I have like Dear Planner, Doctor Visits. Uh, I've tried a lot, I've tried a lot of printables and stuff off Etsy and everything. And as far as Doctor Visits go, this is my favorite. I still do write it down in my big Erin Connor spiral so that I can have a record of it. Cause when I fill these up, these are just simply from reminding me. So when I fill them up, I just throw them away. So I do need a record of them. So I do keep that in an Aaron Condren spiral. Um, medical list thingy. Another one of these. I probably showed it to you in my um, last planner. I did them for all my different sizes. A6. Um, all of them. And I did a different design on the dashboard for each one but the saying is the same you know be grateful for what you have and willing to work for what you want you know that's something that i think our society could really benefit from if everybody would apply it to their lives anyway and like i said in the last one this is all melissa so if you want to copy it go for it um another acetate castresso and then another pre vellum and this is lots of my financial information 
finances and then this is my let's see make sure okay i do have that one in there so it doesn't have anything on it i have monthly budgets and all that stuff in my financial and then here we go into just i think just personal stuff if i want to write down personal notes and things love her she's great made this and this is one of the ones i was telling you about in my last video that I've been designing dashboards and printing them out on just my regular 32 pound paper instead of cardstock because it saves room in my planner from so I can stuff it with even more pretty stuff. Now, if it's something that I really want to just keep forever, I'll print it on cardstock. The thing about it is my designs stay in my Canva so I can always go back and print them again. That's the cool thing about Canva. And this is boho stuff that I love so much. Uh, this, yeah, personals, personals, personals. I do have my uh, Lauren Phelps design. I have one of these in all of my planners. Those are really, really nice. I don't actually, she doesn't actually have a Franklin Covey Com. Well, she may, but they may have been sold out. I'll have to double check on that one. But this is a personal wide size, but it still works. And then just, this is from Cloth and Paper, the To Keep. So I just have like stickers and sticky notes and stuff like that. Um, just all kinds of stuff jammed in there. Um, so like I said, all Eclipse, I try to keep neutral with the planner. Bow white fits perfect with my little white all Eclipse on there. My fall girl, my bows, I always try to stick bows in there somewhere. And this is one of the pens from, I um, can't remember if this came from cloth and paper. Yes, this one came from cloth and paper. And just because it's gray and it works gray with the whole gray aesthetic here. I do have gray, which I may go back and get, put it in there. I have a uh, gray mild liners. Right now, this is from Erin Condren. But I do have gray mild liners that I can stick in there, too. Because I do like to have um, matching things. The only, only thing I did to this one as far as customizations go was add an extra pin loop and that is it because the one thing about the the janet leather is it is like um 10 percent more when you get janet leather instead of just regular tm or napa or one of those it's 10 percent more so i was shocked that the new new book leather that they have they're not charging extra for it same thing as as the tm leathers and stuff and i'm like oh yes now it when i get it i actually did several customizations with it pockets and everything so i can't wait to show you that but i still got the silver rings because hey like i said i'm pretty sure they're just a little bit better and i'm not the only one that thinks that so i'm not crazy but there you go now this will be my november so we're all caught up on what i'm using these days i hope you enjoyed that i enjoy all things planners so if you did, please give me a like. If you're not a subscriber, it's free. Subscribe for free. And I would appreciate that. And if you'll look down, if you're watching this on a, 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 well, anything, if you'll look down where the like is, there's a new section there, a thank you section where you can actually give money if you would like to contribute to the channel. The only reason I mention it is I'm really not expecting people to, you know, throw money at me, but it's cool because I finally reached enough views on youtube even though i'm very rarely uploading i'm trying guys it's just been so busy um but even though i'm not i've reached enough views that i actually get to have that on my channel now you have to have so many views i forget how many it is but i have to have so many before you can qualify for that and lo and behold it's on my channel now because i got enough views after umpteen years <laughs> I'm not exactly a, a YouTube sensation or anything like that. Wouldn't that be awesome? You know, wouldn't that just be awesome? But, you know, as long as I've got my little group of planner girls that, you know, watch me on a regular basis, I'm happy with you guys. Because it's just all about the love of the planner, right? Okay, guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Please give me a like on this one. And I will see you next time. Bye.